The world we now live in is faced with an unprecedented number of environmental challenges. One of the biggest is global warming. Global warming is causing the Earth's temperature to rise, and at a very significant rate. Since 1880, the world's average temperature has increased by 1.1 degrees Celsius, or 2 degrees Fahrenheit, and is expected to keep rising. NASA and climate scientists are in agreement that we have a problem. And one of the biggest negative effects of global warming is the ice melting, causing sea levels to rise. The world's oceans have risen 6 centimetres, 2.4 inches, between 1801 and 1900, around the time of the Industrial Revolution. Scarily, the amount the ocean levels have risen in the 20th century is over three times as much. 19 centimetres, 7.5 inches. If global warming continues at the rate it's going, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration estimates that sea levels could rise as much as 2.5 metres, 8 feet, by 2100. That obviously spells bad news for all of us. But just how bad will it be? Well, let's explore the topic, shall we? Let's have an in-depth look at what would happen if all the ice in the ocean melted, and then what would happen if all the ice in the entire world melted. You will definitely find the results, well, a bit chilling. First of all, what happens if only the icebergs melt? Well, not all that much, actually. Because ice already displaces the water it's in, the levels of the ocean wouldn't change much, because the water will just take on a different form to fill the same amount of space. While this would still definitely be bad, and we certainly don't want all the ice in the sea to suddenly just melt, what we really need to worry about is if we wake up one day to find out that all the ice in the entire world has melted. Then we will have some serious problems. See, the majority of the world's ice is actually land-based, and most of its ice sheets are in Greenland and Antarctica. If all of this ice melts, along with the ice in the oceans, there will be large negative effects on the planet, which will in turn affect humans as well. Let's talk about what will happen to the planet first. If all the ice in the world melts, will everything in the world be underwater? Not quite. The entire world would never be underwater, because there is simply not enough ice to melt to submerge everything. 30 million cubic kilometers of water is frozen right now, but that is not enough to sink the entire world's landmass into the depths of the sea. However, if all of the world's ice melted, the coasts of all continents would be drastically different, and most small islands would be completely submerged. To get a better idea of just how devastating this would be, first of all you need to be aware that half the world's population live in coastal cities. That's billions upon billions of people. Let's take a trip around the world to see what would happen to these cities if all of the ice in the world suddenly did melt. Island countries like the Maldives and the Marshall Islands would be completely submerged. So would cities in North America like New York, Seattle, Los Angeles and Portland. The change in sea levels would also be so devastating for North America that the entire state of Florida would be completely washed away. Similar things would happen in South America and much of this country would be submerged under the newly risen ocean water as well. Out of all the continents in the world, Europe would, by far, be the most affected by the increase in sea levels. Many countries, such as the Netherlands, Belgium and Denmark, and half of Germany would be completely underwater too. The British Isles would be known as the British Archipelago, and who knows how the United Kingdom would be, with London completely underwater. For some countries, it might not be such a negative thing, strangely enough. For example, countries like Kazakhstan and Azerbaijan would no longer be landlocked, as the Black Sea and Cassapian Seas would be joined. Qatar, Bahrain and Baghdad would be swallowed by the Persian Gulf, India and Pakistan would be greatly affected, and Bangladesh would completely vanish forever, as would Beijing and Shanghai. Australia, the smallest continent in the world, would get even smaller as a giant inland sea would rise up through the middle of it. Island nations like Korea and Japan would also suffer immensely by rising sea levels, leaving Tokyo completely under the waves. Out of all the continents in the world, Africa would be affected the least. And, oddly enough, 
All of the ice melting would actually make Antarctica a better place to live than it is today, as there would be more habitable land and the temperatures would not be as unbearably cold as they are now. So, now that we know about the sheer devastation that would arise for the continents if all the world's ice melted, let's find out what would actually happen to the oceans. First of all, they would become a bit less salty. This is because most of the ice in the world is made up of fresh water. At first, it may seem like a good thing if the oceans became less salty. Wouldn't that mean more fresh water for the rest of us? Well, not really. Even if all the ice in the world melted into the ocean, it would still not be enough fresh water to make the oceans salt-free. What that fresh water would have an effect on, though, is the currents of the ocean, which are in part governed by the saltiness of the water. If the currents change, this means that the flow of the ocean is changed, which can cause a butterfly effect for all the marine life within. Changing currents means changing locations for plankton and invertebrates, which equates to less food for fish and mammals, such as whales, sharks and dolphins. And just like that, the whole food chain is disrupted. That's if all the sea creatures can survive the changing salinity of the water anyway. Another effect of changing the salinity in the ocean would have is on plant life. The changing temperatures and levels of salinity would cause massive amounts of the ocean plants to die, leading to a deadly effect for all life on Earth, and not just that which lives in the ocean. This is because half of the Earth's oxygen is created by ocean plant life. One other awful effect of this would bring in the mass extinction of many animals that call the ice their home. Most of the world's ice is located in the North and South Poles. These ice sheets are the habitat of many species of animal, such as polar bears, penguins and seals. If they melted, there is nowhere else for these creatures to live. The worst part is, it is already happening. As these ice sheets melt faster and faster, so is the rate of extinction for these helpless creatures of the Arctic. Although this is fairly difficult to comprehend, we're not done yet. Now that you know about what would happen to the land masses and the oceans if all the world's ice suddenly melted, let's end this video by finding out what would happen to humanity. And by now you've probably already guessed it wouldn't be very good. One massive problem humanity would face would be a mass displacement of people. As mentioned earlier, over half the world's population lives in large cities on the coasts of oceans. If these cities were suddenly submerged, billions of people would have to find a new place to live, but where could they go? This is a problem facing the world already as small islands are swallowed up by rising tides and their residents become stateless. If this happened to billions of people, it would become incredibly difficult to create new places to live fast enough. However, it is predicted that there will be 150 million climate refugees by 2050, and over 2 billion by 2100. If all of the world's ice suddenly melted, humanity would be faced with many more problems than just trying to find somewhere to live though. A lot of the fresh water supply would be gone, because when mountaintop ice and snow melts with warmer weather, it runs down into the rivers, which is the water supply for many. In turn, the rising ocean levels would end up polluting the river water supply with undrinkable salt water. The changing currents would be affected as well. Europe relies on the Gulf Stream to bring it warm air. If that current changes, Europe could very well plunge into a mini ice age, causing even more problems for its vast population. Finally, there would be one more potentially lethal effect on humanity if all the world's ice were to suddenly melt. The Himalayan glaciers have deadly chemicals trapped within their ice. If they were to melt, they would poison water supplies with these chemicals, potentially killing people, or at the very least, making even more of what would be an already incredibly limited supply of fresh water unusable. There is also an incredibly high amount of mercury in the Arctic tundra's permafrost, which, if it all melted, would not only wreak havoc on our health, it would also do the same to the climate. See. If this permafrost melted and released all of its mercury, the little organisms that eat it would go wild. It would be terrible for us, but good for them, and they would multiply until there were so many that the carbon dioxide they release when they eat mercury would cause global temperatures to soar even higher. This would evaporate much of the Earth's water, causing dangerous weather conditions. It's exhausting to think about, isn't it? Well, the good news is that this won't happen if we as a society work together to help prevent the continued effects of climate change. This is a scary future. 
but it doesn't have to be our future. We hope that you enjoyed this video, and please do let us know your thoughts in the comments below. For more interesting videos like this, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, turn on notifications, and most importantly, share. Until then, we'll see you soon in the next video.